So here we are in uh, Tesco's car park at Mulgai and we've still got an hour to go before the start. Uh, registered about 45 minutes ago, we've had something to eat, had a cup of tea, got the bag sorted, resorted, sorted again, filled again, emptied, filled again, not quite that bad but uh, yeah so uh, my support crew, my amazing support crew already to see me off in about an hour so yeah talk to you soon. <laughs> the the beech tree in about uh, 120 and uh, yeah just a nice steady pace letting people go past me yep like this guy here enjoy and, uh, so being careful not to uh, not to get dragged along by people who go past and trying to keep up with them uh, yeah it's a beautiful evening hardly a breath of wind uh, not too warm and the odd star in the sky, but it's, it's getting lighter already over towards the north, the northeast. Uh, we're actually running along, I think, a disused railway track, uh, nice and flat, and uh, yeah, having lots of fun, enjoying it. I have no idea what this village is, but uh, it's very pretty, and uh, yeah, a little bit of road, road running after quite a lot of track and trail which is very nice here we are just coming up to the road into Drimmen oh, some die-hard supporters out here and uh, so it's 3 three sixteen. thank you thank you thank you 316 I think I had it down as 322 here so I'm pretty happy with that, pretty much on schedule. Uh, I've got myself in a nice little group, about the right pace for me. So, uh, yeah, looking good. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you. So it's just gone uh, quarter to four. I don't know if you can see the, through the, the dusky uh, morning light, but uh, uh, there's Loch Lomond down there and then Conic Hill just ahead there which is next destination up and over and then drop down to Balmaha which is the the first checkpoint and meeting the support crew the wonderful crew uh, and uh, have a bit of breakfast uh, that'll be 30k so just about in distance a fifth of the way through So out of the out of the forest track onto the open moor, I saw a crocodile lying ahead of me, and uh, at some point I guess this path bends round because we've got to go up uh, Conic Hill over there. Uh, I've been going for three hours. Uh, I suspect I'm picking up a bit of time on this leg because I'm not due to Balmahar till 5:30 which is just under an hour and a half away. So just uh, starting the slog up uh, Conic Hill. And you see quite a crocodile of people 
in front they tend to be gathered in groups I think people find a pace and stick with it stick with the people who got roughly the equal pace so yeah feeling good quads a little bit tight uh, but my ankle's fine my Achilles yeah it's fine so yeah just uh, just my quads a little bit tight but Yes, we thought you might be around that hill, Philip. Do you know how you feel? Do you feel all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quads are a bit tight, but nothing wrong with my heel. Uh, beautiful morning. Let loads of people go past me at the beginning, uh, and I just, yeah, you know, determined not to, not to try and stick with them. And I didn't, and then caught up with a few uh, coming over Conic Hill. So that's great. Excellent. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Ah. You want a hot drink on that? No. Well, I probably will at Rowie Denham. Okay. Tubby, you need to take your head torch Thank off. You. Yes, you need to take my head torch off. You won't need that anymore. Well, until tonight. <laughs> that way? Is it that, that way? way? It's that way, yes. That way. I just had my first. Uh, checkpoint at Balmaha and uh, a lovely stop well looked after by the crew and uh, having a bowl of cereal topped up with my uh, tailwind drink picked up some more chocolate for the for the next bit to row again it's only 12 and a half k and now I've got a lovely lovely run alongside the Loch Lomond in here that waves lapping on the shore well it's definitely been a lot harder since that break I felt a bit uh, a bit nauseous after eating that muesli and fruit uh, some hasn't really settled down Got a bit of a sore hip as well, so yeah, starting to starting to take its toll. Uh, nearly done a marathon, I think. Uh, let me check the mileage, but yeah. Uh, so crawling into Roadenden, very slow, quite a sore hip, and uh, still feeling a little bit sick. But uh, just going past the. Hotel and have a little rest when I get to my support team. What a beautiful view though! Look at that. Oh, I'll just get past the, uh, the shed. Tell us about that left leg. Yeah, that was harder work actually. Um, a bit more up and down than I thought. Um, it, I thought it was you know, mainly flat by the lake, but a lock, sorry, it's not. <coughs> but also felt a bit nauseous, so I probably ate, ate my muesli a bit quick. Um, and also had a bit of a pain in the hip, but but yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. So, so be asked for his comfort blanket. Yes, it's lovely. Yeah. 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 Little self serve places along the West Highland Way with honesty boxes. Got a few streams coming down off Ben Lomond, flowing into Loch Lomond. Anyway, that was a, a more leisurely stop, uh, about 20 minutes, maybe a bit more. Went to the loo, which 
I think it's definitely helped my stomach and uh, yeah had a half a banana half a sandwich and a nice cup of red bush so yeah I arrived feeling a little bit a little bit despondent that was a hard leg uh, a sore hip uh, feeling a bit sick uh, Achilles starting to feel a bit sore but um, but no that's good they looked after me well anyway next stop in the Snade to meet up with the Rothorns hopefully bacon sandwich which I'm hoping I'm gonna feel like eating uh, I'm sure I will when I get there a bit of a break so yeah but yeah, a bit of blue sky above looking great this is the weather not me Well, what a great stop that was at uh, Inversnade. Ash, bless him, drove from uh, Lockhart. Good 20 minutes drive with a uh, bacon and tomato sauce sandwich, a cup of tea. And uh, we were able to sit in his car during a, a rainstorm. It didn't last long, but it was pretty heavy. Uh, and there wasn't any other shelter, so that was just perfect timing uh, even though I arrived about half an hour late and I uh, spent the 20 minutes there that I'd planned to so I left half an hour late at 9.30 but uh, uh, and uh, Ash tells me that at that checkpoint I was 139th I think uh, so yeah I, I don't think I'll make up much over the next uh, uh, whatever, however many hours, 20, 22 hours. But uh, uh, the thing is to finish. And actually, you know, even the 30 hours, I'm not, I'm not that bothered about. I'm sort of backing off a little bit, I think now. Uh, this section, which is a, t a tricky little technical section from uh, uh, from Inversnade to Ben Glass Farm. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to walk most of it, I think. There's some flattened downhill bits, but which I'll jog. Unfortunately, I don't get to see uh, Andrew and Judith and Luke now until uh, Octatire, which is a good few hours away. Uh, I left my uh, timing sheet on the table at uh, Rower Denon, so, uh, so yeah, so I'm not quite sure what my predicted time is. I might give them a ring later find out what it is and let them know I'm going to be late but uh, yeah it's just beautiful some people get tired I think of walking up the side of or running up the side of Loch Lomond and I may yet but at the moment it's uh, it's great I love it Get your dinner out Hey, here we are. Oh, stars. Good. I'm not going to get through all of this, don't worry. <laughs> not in one go, anyway. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. Feeling yeah, fine. Strong. Yeah. So, yeah. I think, get this down me. Set off slow. First 10 minutes, just walking. Mm -hmm. Let it digest and then pick up the pace. Get that. <coughs> right, so do you know where we're going? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See you later, guys. Yeah, Not too much later. How far is it? 12. Three hours. No, is it? Really? To yeah, 15, 15 kilometres. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. So, a great little stop at Octatire. It sorted out a. Uh, cheese and ham toasty which is wonderful and now I've got I've got the marvellous Luke with me say, say hello Luke hi guys yeah so the last two legs uh, 
most of Inversnade to uh, Roroden, uh, Inversnade to Benglass and Benglass to Ottertai. I was running with a guy called Craig. He was a lovely guy, but he was really struggling. He was wrecked. I thought, actually, and he was walking basically. I thought, I'll just walk with him, give him some encouragement, to keep him company. So, so that was great, but it means that my legs are fairly, fairly fresh. So we'll just see how long that lasts. Probably won't last that long, but we'll see. So we're just coming to the outskirts of Tindrum. We're actually on the other side of the river to the main uh, village. Uh, I think we'll go past the railway line soon. And, uh, and heading up and over, we'll pass to Bridge of Walkie is the next stop. Ah, so actually we do go slightly up there. Okay. Is that open? Thank you. So this is the uh, nearly at the, the crest of the West Highland Way before we drop down into towards Bridge of Orkey, a little bit of a climb. That hill ahead is Benderain, which I did last no earlier this year and Luke did when he was eleven. So there you go. The noise you can hear is the A82 next to us. Time. Thank you. chocolate oat bar down me. Yep. Forcing it. Forcing it. Force feeding me is. Yep. Got no choice. Yeah, nearly there. Look. Look dad. Look. Nearly finished dad. It's taking you about half an hour to eat that little cube of chocolate. Come on Turbo. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't go on. I can't go any further. I can't go on. Andrew, I want to stop. So we're just getting warmed up.
111th, Toby White. <laughs> 112th, Stuart Austin.